What's up, Spatians? This is Jake from Spatial, and today we're going to be talking about getting started with our starter template in the Creator Toolkit. This is going to help you get rolling, building your first project, and we're going to go through some examples that we provide for you in that starter template. So let's jump in. All right, so to get started, let's head to spatial.io slash toolkit. And this is where you'll find all our documentation, everything you need to know about all the different features we have and all the capabilities as we add them constantly to the toolkit SDK. First thing we're needing to do is actually get Unity. So if we head to unity.com slash releases slash editor slash archive, we're gonna to come to this page and we actually need a specific version of Unity and the Unity Hub, which is a way to manage all your Unity projects. So if you scroll down and head to unity2021.x, we need 2021.3.8 specifically. So for the Creator Toolkit, you need to use this specific version uh, of Unity. So down here, click Unity Hub and download. In this case, I already have it downloaded. You're gonna to wanna to download the Unity Hub and then it'll install 2021.3.8. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add the WebGL support module to Unity because you need that as well to publish with the toolkit. And under installs, you should see 2021.3.8 and make sure you have that WebGL module added. Let's head back to the Creator Toolkit documentation, and we're gonna download the starter template, which has everything you need to get started with the Creator Toolkit. So come down to getting started with the starter template, and scroll down, this goes through the different steps that we just went through, and down here you'll see download the starter template. So let's click that, and once that, once that finishes downloading, we're gonna open that zip file, and then place it in a spot that you can easily find it. For example, a projects folder for your Unity projects. Now back in Unity Hub, we're gonna go and open uh, that starter template. So click open, and then go into your folder, and let's just select the folder for the starter template. Click open, and that's gonna open up Unity. Once Unity opens, you may have to upgrade to the latest version of the Spatial SDK, so just click yes. Today we're just going to focus on the Spatial Creator Toolkit starter template. So the first thing you'll see is our scene vitals here uh, in the middle of the scene. Our recommendations for different metrics or properties that your scenes should fit in so that it operates well across all the different platforms that Spatial supports from web, VR, and mobile. If you remain within these limits, your scene should operate well across all those platforms. You can still publish your scene if you exceed any of these limits, but we definitely don't recommend it. Uh, the next thing is actually in the top right corner, you'll see uh, these three buttons. So this is actually the Spatial Creator Toolkit SDK right there. So you'll be able to test your current scene. This will open it up in the sandbox in Spatial. Uh, the publishing button, which will bring up the publishing window and our settings. So let's click on settings just to get started. And here, this is the Creator Toolkit uh, window. So we have our project configuration. This is how we can create new things like new environments and the active package. So this is actually what we're gonna be publishing. But we'll get into that later. The first thing we need to do is click on account and we're gonna have to just associate this Unity scene and your Unity editor with your spatial account. So click on Get Login Token. This is gonna open up Spatial in your web browser. So you just wanna make sure you're already signed into Spatial when you click that button. Then here, just click Copy to Clipboard to get your access token. Let's head back into Unity and just click Paste Login Token. You won't see a prompt there come up, but your token's pasted and you're good to go. Now back in Unity, if you click on Examples, we have two different examples that we provide to you as part of the starter template. We have our feature demo and spatial island. Let's open up feature demo and go into scenes and then click on the feature demo scene. And here in the feature demo scene, this is actually really great because we give you a lot of examples of how you can use a lot of the different components uh, that we provide in the creator toolkit right here in one functional scene. Everything from the thumbnail camera, which captures a semi-live preview of your scene that's presented in spatial, to the entrance point, this is how people are going to 
enter your scene, where they're going to enter your scene in Spatial. There's moving platforms. So if you wanted to have things like elevators or other moving elements and move people around the space, we show you how that works. An intraspace teleporter. So if you want to move people around the space using a little teleport system, this is an example of how to do that. Triggers, or in this case, showing how to apply triggers to things like collectibles or coins. We show you how to do that as well and how to apply things like animators and particle effects to collecting items. In this area, you'll see how to apply triggers to show particle effects or to run an animation. And if we come inside here, we show you an example of the seat hot spot. So your avatar in the scene can sit down in specific areas and empty frames. So if you wanted to place empty art frames around your scene to upload art, images, videos, NFTs, you can do that and have preset spots to do that in your space. Coming outside, we have the share your screen window. So within Spatial, you have the capability to screen share directly into Spatial from the web browser. So with the screen panel window, you can designate a specific area where a screen share appears in your scene. Great for hosting concerts, events, talks, things like that will appear in that specific area. And then we have our ending area with some animation playing uh, and an interspace teleporter that takes you back to the start. So this is a great example of all the different components that we supply in Spatial uh, in the Creator Toolkit. Now, if we go back to our other example, we have a Spatial Island. So I'm gonna go Examples, Spatial Island, and then Scenes, and then click on the scene here. Now, in this scene, this is a great example of some really nice lighting effects that you can have in your scene. So we provide the skybox, which of course you can change out, and a lighting setup that's already good to go. So if I turn around my camera, there you can see our little special island. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. And we have a couple of different things in this scene. We have, of course, our entrance point. We have a couple of seat hotspots there on the couch. We have our thumbnail camera. So this, you can see a preview of it there, is what people are gonna see as they're scrolling through spatial to give you a semi-live preview. And we have uh, some collectibles, just like we had uh, in the other scene here. But we also have the lighting uh, in this scene as well. We're not gonna get into details of in this and how to adjust lighting um, or how to set up any of these particular components, but just showing you the different examples uh, that we supply here. We'll have different videos that get into the specific for each of these, including things like trigger components, how to set a seat hot spot, how to add collectibles to your scene. So stay tuned for that in future videos. Um, before we go and publish, it's actually good practice to go and test your scene in uh, the sandbox. So within the Creator Toolkit, we provide you a sandbox space that's private and accessible only to you. So you can test your scene, make sure things like triggers work, make sure the lighting looks like how you want it to look like, and make sure everything is working perfectly. So to do that, we're going to hit, hit Test Current Scene and click Continue. And what this is gonna do is just really quickly package up the scene that we specified in the configuration panel. And then it'll open up our sandbox in the web browser. And that's just a really quick way again to test everything to make sure it's running well and doing it within the web browser. Once it finishes uploading, it's gonna automatically open spatial.io slash sandbox in your web browser. And there we go. Now I'm able to move around the scene I just made in Unity right in Spatial, right in the web browser. So in our sandbox, we can do everything you can do in the full version of Spatial. The only thing you can't do is share this space with others. This is private just for you, just to test out everything and make sure everything works great. So for example, I can come over to the seat hotspots and sit down. Or if I come around the corner here, I can make sure these particle effects and these triggers work as expected. And look at that, they're working great. All right, once you've tested your space in the sandbox and it's ready to be published, let's hop back into Unity. So what we're gonna do is come over to the gear icon in the top right corner. I'm gonna click that. And we wanna make sure that we're publishing this particular scene to Spatial. So under Active Package, 
I'm going to click on the default. And this active package area actually lets you manage multiple variants of your project or of your scene in spatial. So say you had a day mode or a day scene and a night scene um, or a, a version with a dancing stage and a version with more of an auditorium setup. You can have different variants of your scene that are set up here as well. But in this case, we're just gonna deal this one variant, this one environment package. So what we wanna do is assign the scene that we wanna publish. So I'm going to come into our project window and take the scene file and just drag and drop it into the scene window. And I also wanna make sure I name this just so I can differentiate the different scene packages that I have within Spatial when I use them. So I'm just gonna call this Spatial Island. And we can leave the rest as default for now. I'm gonna go and click Publish. And what that's gonna do is package everything up in Unity and then upload it to the Spatial servers. And the unique thing that's happening here is we're actually not just sending it to Spatial and it's gonna appear in Spatial right away. We're actually packaging that scene and making it ready to work on web, VR, and mobile, iOS and Android. So you really have one click from Unity to every platform. So that's why once it's uploaded, you'll get an email within the next 15 to 30 minutes, letting you know when your package uh, is ready to be accessed uh, in Spatial. Okay, so once your package is published, you're gonna get an email notification that looks something like this. Then come back into Spatial, click Create a Space. Then over under Packages is where you're going to find your Unity scene or scenes. Now in this case, we published the Spatial Island demo. So I'm gonna click that and it's gonna spin up my space with that Unity package. And there we have it. Now we have your scene in the full version of Spatial and you'll be able to jump into the scene or create new spaces with this scene on web like we just did, on mobile, on iOS and Android, and over in VR on the MetaQuest headset. And now you can share this space with your friends and community. So just click over on the share tab, copy the link, and share it with whoever you like. There we go.